Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout 2. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we ransack the place. Yes, yeah, we, we're gonna we're, we're gonna take what is ours. I'm also gonna look at my inventory because I have a lot of stuff. Also, I didn't I didn't actually look at the gag, did I? Look at that. It's got a dot at the end, as it probably should. And over there as well, with two dots as well. Look at that properly. Properly done. Uh, yeah, in the uh, intro cinematic, the Gek doesn't actually have a, a dot on the side. But this one actually is modeled with a dot. Hmm. I wonder if it was uh, corrected or if... I, I never paid attention to that. I, I, I become more pedantic over the years. The Garden of Eden creation kit. This unit is standard equipment for all vault vaults. A Gek is the resource for rebuilding civilization after the bomb. Just add water and stir. And it weighs 10 pounds. It's not as simple as that, but it will work, hopefully. Um, but before we do anything else, let me... Uh, hey, 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 Skynet. Let me look into you, because I want to offload some things. So you got 16, uh, 16 pounds worth of um, space available. This thing is not needed. This thing is definitely not needed. This thing... Well, it's... You might as well... We'll see. Mmm, yeah, very heavy stuff, very heavy stuff, let's just offload that. And do I have anything else that could fit? What are you using? I think Skynet is using a uh, shotgun, so I'm gonna go with that. Uh, so there we go, that's that. A little bit of weight taken care of, because we're gonna get a few, quite a few things. Uh, hey cat, how's it going man? Uh, you might not last for very long. We'll see, we'll see. He currently has 36 weight available to me. We got an oxygen tank over here. I know exactly where that is going. I'm gonna unload that and I'm gonna put that over there. I can give you that as well. I think it's all gonna be fine. Uh, that's mine. Yeah, I'm gonna give you the. You know what? I think. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's just give these things, not that. Uh, I can give, yeah, that. And one, there we go. So trade that, and you're not, you don't complain. You know what, I think Skynet has the wrong shotgun. I'm pretty sure she has, or it has the wrong shotgun. Okay, so let's trade over here and give her the Panker Jackhammer that I have over here, because that is way better. Uh, and I'm going to take that, especially if I unload it. Yes, I do. Okay, so I'm actually going to need a little bit more. Ooh. It's actually going to be really nice to have. Thank you. And I'll take one of those. Thank you. And now you're good to go. Although when it loads that, things might not last for very long. So let's see. Yeah, I think we're good to um, to loot this place. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. Oh, it's locked. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's see what we have. Nothing important. Oh, don't give me this. Give me good stuff. Come on. Oh, we got a water chip, and we have a combat armor over there that we don't need, and that actually doesn't, that it's not really necessary, because the weight doesn't, it, it's its too heavy for, for the price that it is, uh, the, or that it uh, goes for. Uh, 25 experience points again, these things have nothing. Are you kidding me? Are these things going to have nothing, all of them? Hmm, well, this one has something. I'll take the doctor's bags, because those are... Actually, relatively rare, so I'll get that. This one has nothing. I should... Yeah, there you go. That's the stuff. Unlock it. Oh. Navcom parts. Yeah. They are, these are computer parts that look like they slot into the interior of a machine. The fact that they say Poseidon Oil and Navigational Computer on them lead you to believe they fit into the Poseidon Oil Navigational Computer. Yes, that's usually how it goes. Thank you very much for that. Also need to go to Sulik. I think these might be... Uh, well, not locked, as it turns out. Also, not filled with anything. Okay, good. Hey, Sulik. Hey, man. What you be? I'm gonna give you a few things that I have collected, including that over there. Not this, surprisingly enough. I know, I know. Uh, like this over here, the fuzzy painting. I think you can carry that. The Ranger's map. Why do I have the Ranger's map on me? Hmm. And I'm also gonna give you that, that over there, and. Uh, can you carry all of that? Hopefully so. I, I do think that he can carry a lot of stuff. He, I think it's 225. Oh, it's a little bit more because of the um, the power armor. But I do have the poor guy a little bit too overburdened. I'm going to remove... 
that. There we go. Much better. Much better. Now, what do I want to do? Oh, I know what I want to do. Oh, I so know what I want to do. I want to talk to this guy over here. Goris. He's gonna tell me about things and, and, and multiple things in general. Let me mess with the computers over here. I think none of them actually work. I'm pretty sure none of if if any works, it's that one over there. Or this one over here. But I failed to learn anything. That's just my failing, really. Not really the, the computer's failing. There it is, nothing there. Okay. Hey Goris. Hello, I'm Goris. I don't recognize you. Are you new here? Uh, yes, Goris. Gruthar said I should look you up. He seems to think you're the man with the answers. Oh, so you talk to Gruthar. He has a rather inf in inflated opinion of me. I don't really know half as much as he thinks I do. Anyway, so you're an outsider. I've seen a few like you. Some are staying here in the vault, but you look different. You appear to be more seasoned, if you know what I mean. I, I'll bet you've been around a bit and accomplished things, am I right? Yeah, I've had some adventures. Say, if you wouldn't mind answering some questions for me, I could tell you some of my adventures in return. Oh, it's a deal. I would love to hear anything you can tell me. What would you like to know? Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm surprised Gruthar didn't tell you about me. Oh, well. I'm a student of sorts. I'm trying to learn as much as I can about the world and the different cultures that have developed. Right now I'm studying the culture the Death Claws are forming and comparing it to human development along similar lines. I've acquired just about all the information I need here. It would help my research a great deal if I could do some traveling, however. I don't want to do it alone, if you know what I mean. Uh... I can't, yeah, I can't know what he means. Yeah, so you're a scholar. That's quite an accomplishment in today's world. Are you a prisoner here? No, I can leave at any time. Uh, any time I like, he says. I haven't done so because I don't want to travel alone. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty tough and can take care of myself, but I don't, I, I would still be one person alone in the desert if anything happened to me, or have, if anything happened. Yeah, but I don't like traveling alone either, so I can't blame you. How long have you been here? A few months, actually, he says. I can't. I came here from the coast a while back. Oh, well, you're pretty new here yourself. If you don't mind, I need to know more. What can you tell me about the death claws here? Oh, these aren't any, your average death claw. As I'm sure you noticed, they have had their intelligence enhanced by some means not understood by them. It was done by a group of humans known as the Un ya Enclave. It seems this enclave needed an army, and they chose death laws because of their ferocity, physical prowess, and... Well, you get the picture. Anyway, the only thing lo uh, lacking in death laws was their intelligence. They needed to be smart enough to understand complex commands, but not so smart that they'd be a threat to those in charge. So the enclave started messing with a virus, or some such thing, and injected the death laws with it. The, this virus was known to mutate humans into some sort of super beings. So the Enclave wanted to see what it would do to that clause. Well, the result was a breed of death claws so smart that they could see they were destined for slavery. So they played dumb until they could gain their freedom. And here they are. Yep, I've heard that story before. That's incredible, actually. Uh, you seem very knowledgeable. Can I ask you more? Uh, actually, let me just say something here. This mythos, this story over here, is very much the result of... Well, I say is very much the result of... It probably is the result of a actually wrong perspective on what animal intelligence is. When I say animal intelligence, I also count ours. Um, we tend, well, it's easy to think about intelligence as just, oh, this is more intelligent than that, and this is more and more and more and more intelligent. So that, st that point that he referenced of, oh, we need to be intelligent enough for this, but not enough uh, or not too much for this. Uh, that reveals a linear approach to the evolution of intelligence, where that actually isn't the case. If you look at dogs' as intelligence, for example, um, they uh, they are they can be very very smart, but they still will preserve a lot of uh, a lot of um, instincts, or they can preserve a lot of instincts and a lot of trained uh, reflexes and attitudes that less intelligent animals, or at least ones that we would judged to be less intelligent, would have actually outgrown. Not not in the sense that they wouldn't actually get those senses of loyalty and stuff like that that dogs sometimes get. Most, most more often than not, they do. Um, but because they are just different. Because intelligence isn't... I mean, you can be extremely intelligent for math and crap at everything else. Intelligence is a very, very complex thing. Uh, but of course, 
humans have a tradition of simplifying oversimplifying intelligence and not looking uh, at it in in in, a pers- in in that perspective it's just yeah this just you know it's less intelligent it's more intelligent and if i am intelligent enough for this then it means everybody else that is more intelligent than i am will be intelligent enough for what i am intelligent enough for uh, and i might not be intelligent enough for the stuff that they're intelligent enough for so yeah you know what i mean it's it's not like that. But anyway, do you know what happened to the people who used to live here in the vault? Oh yeah, that's the reason why we came here. Ah. They were captured by the Enclave. Gruthar and the pack were forced to aid in their capture. They had no choice since they were slaves at the time. The fate of the humans has weighed heavily on Gruthar's mind. He's never really forgiven him- or himself for his complicity in the affair. The humans were taken alive, but who knows what has happened to them since. Oh. Well... Sometimes we're forced into doing distasteful things by situations outside of our control. Gruthar should learn to forgive himself. What can you tell me about Gruthar? Now, Gruthar is not the monster that he appears to be. He genuinely cares about all of us here and is doing everything he can to ensure our safety and survival. All of us trust him with our lives. I don't know what else I can say about him. You would have to get to know him and judge for yourself. Uh, yeah, sure. I... Yeah, I'll not make any snap decisions about him. He deserves better. Do you think the death laws are a threat to humans? He's gonna say yes, of course. Well, the potential is there, especially when you take their new intelligence into account. However, I don't think that Kruthar and his pack pose a threat. They all seem to respect life and personal freedom above all else. Now, I don't expect you to make, take my word on this. I would ask you to judge for yourself. There are others who live here whom you can ask your questions. Um. Sure. That's, thanks for, uh, for the advice. I will ask around. Can I ask you a few more questions, though? Do you have any information on this enclave you spoke of? Oh, no. Only what I've told you. Wait, there, there is one thing. The enclave showed an interest in some ruins to the west of here. Why, I, I, I don't know. That's, that's about it. Yeah, we're going there next, but not right away. We're first going back to, uh, to Arroyo because we need to uh, take the Gek back. Hopefully not everybody's gonna be dead, but we'll see. They haven't contacted me in my dreams in a while. And they are they have been gone from my uh for my karma thing. Uh yeah, uh Every little bit of information helps. I thank you for it. Uh what do you know about this virus? About this virus? What virus? The FEV? Really? Did he mention the FEV before? No. Did he? I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all. I think it's called the FEV virus, he says. The Enclave is, or was, doing extensive research on it. I'm sorry, but I don't know anything anything more. Uh, yeah, that's okay. So, you, you've been very helpful, very helpful, Goddess. Uh, you mentioned, did I call him Goddess before? I always mix up his name, so yeah, anyway. You mentioned you wanted to do some traveling. How about joining me? Daryl, but you've got too many people with you now. I'll wait here with, until a position opens. Oh yeah, a position will open. Uh, okay, so actually that is gonna be an interesting thing because the position that will open So we need to send somebody we, we need to have somebody not be with us Because I want him. I just want Garis with us because he is uh, awesome. He's awesome. So I could have Cassidy Stay back. What's up? You hey, got man. That I'm pulling rank look again. I know I know I'm I'm doing worse than that I want to see what you can carry so he's got a sniper thing. I think he's not as good as as uh, Skynet. Hey man, you're awesome, but uh, you're gonna need to stay back. Let's go into combat control. Actually, it's not here. Yeah, it's through here. Okay, I'm My gonna gear? talk. Yeah. What about it? No problem. Too hot for that kind of gear anyway. Yeah, he's talking about the armor. Okay, so that's that. Let's remove that armor. Can I trade? Yes, I can. Let's remove. That. So what I'll do is I'll just drop the stuff that's too heavy. Uh, okay, so I can... Oh, he had more. Okay. Let's keep trading that. Okay. Probably dropping the armor and the weapons is going to be enough. Okay, we got some of that. We got some of these. This is just junk to be sold. Okay, of course. Drop those. Trade that. Keep these. I'm going to let him have the, uh, the pills. He's going to stay here for a while, so it's not a big deal. Um, got a shovel. Why do you have a shovel? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Why does he have a shovel? Okay, and that's that over there. And that's that. Do you have it loaded? No, you don't. Good man. 
Okay, so that is too heavy right there. How heavy are these? 21. Sounds good to me. Let's drop them. Let's drop them all. Okay, and then I can trade that with you. So, Cassidy. Um, I need you to wait here until I come back. Uh, no, actually, you know what? That's it for now. You know what? I'm gonna save the game here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have him wait for me... Uh, oh yeah, that's other junk that I dropped. Not a problem. Uh, I'm gonna have him wait for me at the entrance of Vault 13. Not here. And the reason for that is, uh, if anything happens to this vault, if it blows up, or if the Death Laws mutiny, or if they get attacked, or anything like that, I won't have Cassidy get involved in it, because I don't actually know how, how things are gonna go. But this should be safe. Hey, Cassidy. I know. Come here. Come here, old man. What's up? You wait here. Just wait here, man. Don't be, well, don't look at me like right that. Well, alright then. I'll wait here till you get back. Yeah, that's it for now. See you later, man. Okay, so Cassidy is gonna stay behind. Because we're gonna get Goris. And Goris really likes his wep- well... Yeah. You can definitely say that. He really likes his weapons. The thing is, he already comes with that. And he uses one in each hand. He's, the, he's actually the only character that can use uh, guns akimbo. Or I guess weapons akimbo, as it were. Uh, so, uh, that's, I think that's how it's said, but anyway. Hey, Gordis! I just, uh, you up for it? He hesitates, and you get the feeling you are being carefully scrutinized. I would be honored to join you, he says. Ooh, hmm, that's just the game telling me that, uh, Gordis might have not wanted to join me. Uh, because he's just such a pal. He's such a pal! Anyway, I can't... Oh, yeah, he's, he's happy, yeah. Yeah, that's not, that's not a spoiler at all, don't worry, it's all fine. It's all fun. No, no, it's not. Burst, not applicable. Uh, tourniquet, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, unarmored, charge, yes, yes, whoever is closest. Yeah, that's a good point, that's a good thing. Steam packs when heard a lot. Yeah, I'll give you a few steam packs later. But turns out I didn't need to, uh, to go over here to this, to this thing. Uh, actually, let me see if I can talk to him about things. Um, make sure you don't... Oh. I can't really talk to him. Really? Hmm. I can never tell. I can never tell how surprising it actually is. Um. Uh, yeah. That's ba that, I. That's what I can tell. I can't tell that. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I'm gonna give him that, and just for right now, he's gonna be able to carry it. Uh, we do have a few other things over with me. I really don't need them. Uh, but for right now, that's good. Let's pick these up. Uh, and I actually drop them in the car. Nah, you know what? I could... Nah, I think I think dropping them in the car is going to be the best. For the best. Okay, Goris is now with us. And uh, here he comes. Come on, Goris. Gotta move on. Oh, there he is. He looks very weird. He's like a Toy Story monster or something like that. Those. I, I think there's a monster in Toy Story that looks like him. Uh, so let's uh, go upstairs and let's get out of here. Where are we going next? Well, we're going back to to, uh, to uh, Arroyo. Hey, Gruthar. Oh, yeah, he doesn't say anything else. Thank you for uh, for everything, man, and, and uh, good luck. Hey, Cassidy, you stay there, man. I know it's kind of probably moist and cold and, and you're naked and all that, but there's rats. Well, there should be. 80 years ago, there were rats. I don't know why, they, why they're not there anymore. Okay, let's drop a few more things over here. Because we can. Uh, like that over there. Everything is good over here. I have some grenades that I'll drop right there as well. I have some rounds on this that I definitely won't use. And that is that. Suppose Cat is carrying these, but Cat, yeah, they're all heavily burdened. So, how is the charge on the car? 83%. That's perfect. Let's get out of here. We have the Gek. Is, am I gonna get a dream? No, we're not. Okay, and the good thing about going this way is because we're gonna be able to go to that safe house that we're gonna go to right away. I don't even care about Arroyo. It's just about, oh. Swarm of Mantis. Nope, don't get that. Don't, yeah, it's good. It's all fine. Oh, I got another one. Uh, an army of floaters and centaurs. Sounds good to me. And uh, fire geckos, don't mess with them. Actually, the floaters and centaurs would be quite terrible. But we have homesteaders fending off some wolves. And you saw that. Yeah. Goris. 
the Scholar. A Grey Deathclaw. Well, hopefully he'll level up. It's very late in the game, so he's not going to level up all that much. Uh, but we're actually kind of close to leveling up, so hmm, let's see what happens. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try and take out that guy. And that guy, 71. Okay, that was lucky. That's a kill. And I'm going to get a little bit closer. Mm, I fear for the safety of these. Oh, he's got a Reaper. Or what sounds like one, anyway. Okay. I don't think they attack me. The humans. The dogs definitely are not attacking me, though. Oh. Interesting. Interesting that I am... Uh, yeah, I'm dealing criticals. Interesting that my guys are not attacking. Because they're, these guys are not aggroed on me. I think that's the reason. And I, it might have been the reason before as well. Nice kill, dude. Nice kill. Okay. And back goes Chorus. Oh, you just keep your hands where I can see them. We've been plagued by bandits lately, and I think you just might be you one of them. What do you want? I just wanted to trade supplies. Well, I guess no, there's no harm in that. Here's what I got to trade. Well, he doesn't have much, so I'm not even gonna bother with that, but there we go. Thank you, I'll talk to you later, I guess. I gained 300 experience, that's nice. Save the game before we leave. And let's go to the safe house. Yeah, we're going to the safe house. Oh, we're gonna go, th oh, yes. We were gonna go through that black square, and... A group of slavers and slaves fending off some robbers. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh yeah, let's do this. Get a little bit of experience. I think now experience farming would be a good thing. I also okay. Who's who are the slavers? These are. I don't want a a slaver. Okay, that's good. I could do a lot of work. Oh, not from here. I couldn't. I could if I moved up. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> eh, I say a lot of work. It wasn't. It wasn't that much. Uh, let's move you over here and get that guy. Sounds good. And they're not attacking me, which is also going to keep my uh, my friends in check. Uh, wait a minute. I didn't notice. Oh, yeah, Goris is going in. Nice shot there, Marcus. Even though you're missing. Oh, boy. That was a slave. Well, it wasn't me who killed him, so there we go. Slave was... Yeah, th those were slaves. Robert was hit and was killed. So I gained karma over there. Slave was hit and was killed. Okay, I killed slaves. That's That was the problem. Okay, well, collateral damage, really. Uh, okay, let's get you over here. Let's reload that. I have two shots ready. Let me see what I can do here. I didn't mean for it to go like that. I, c I was kind of hoping for something like that. A little bit better. And... Here comes Skynet. And now the robbers are shooting me. And there it goes. That's what happens. Oh! Cat missing. Okay, not great. Reload that. That slave. Is that slave gonna attack me? I hope not. I actually don't really know why the other slave attacked me. Well, apart from the fact that I killed the other slave, but. Well, that slave is not gonna attack me. So there we go. We have 970 experience, which is actually pretty decent. And we have uh, a lot of loot, I would say. But I'm just going to take, like, steam packs and uh, not the... Yeah, some of that. That's always good, I suppose. What do we have over here? Just a piece of gunk. Whatever that was. Uh, over here we have nothing. Yeah, I did. I did a bad. Shouldn't have taken the slaves out. Doesn't matter. We didn't lose karma. So... I don't think... Uh, there's no slave killer trade or anything, so... Yeah, that's that's good enough. Just get all that money. Should probably take the knuckles as well. The spiked knuckles are pretty decent. Uh, you're a Deathclaw. Is there a reason you didn't mention that to me before? Oh, I'm sorry to have deceived you. But humans have a habit of shooting Deathclaws on sight. I felt that it would be my to my advantage to hide my identity until you could see for yourself that I am on your side in this venture. If you want me to leave, I'll do so. But I, I'd rather rather stay and help you on your quest. I want to show that humans and Deathclaws can work together as friends, not enemies. Yeah, I understand why you felt it necessary to hide your identity. I think we can work together, so please stay. But don't deceive me again, Goris. Don't deceive me again. 
Okay, so we have... Look at that. Just good stuff all around, including ammo, which is always nice. I got a hunting rifle that is not nice. We have blood over here with one gold. And we have some rat, some dead rats over there that I'm not going to mess with. Let's get out of here and get going to Arroyo. Because that's... Well, actually, we're not going to Arroyo. Oh, yes! A herd... Oh. That's not the best one. Oh, that is not... The best one. I think I'm going to lose, guys. Oh, crap. Oh, what is that? What? Is, uh, okay, so they blow up on me. They didn't kill anybody. What is that over there? It's just a rock. Yeah. Exploding cows. Exploding cows. Yeah. Anyway, we're safe. People really took damage there, but we're safe. Oh, protecting the wasteland or the waste is it, the waste is a good job, tough job, but someone's got to do it. He says. I'm sorry, I misread that so many times. Okay, so apparently we are not going to go to Arroyo right now. We're going over here. I forgot. I forgot about that. Don't need anything from here. I don't think I'm going to need anything from here at all. Well, turns out I will. I'll take that as well. Thank you. Uh, don't don't need that. What else? What else do we have? Hey, sir. Hello, fellow ranger. Here to spend the night? Uh, not really. That's not really a thing I need. It's not a thing I need to do in this game. I'm here to steal your stuff more more than anything else, really. Uh, and see if you have anything on... Anything else. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Got a mushroom patch over here, is that it? Mushrooms, yeah. The stable planter has been filled with dung, and mushrooms are happily growing in it. So, yeah, here we are. Let's go to Arroyo. We have the Gek. We finally have the Gek. Chosen, the shadow of darkness arrived before you. What happened? Dark souls came. They took everyone. The... Dark souls? What do you mean? A rush of wind came. On it were great dragonflies that spat flame. Evil men crawled from the beasts' bellies and brought... Death to our warriors. Our warriors couldn't stop them. The spirit was willing, but the spearheads were weak. The evil ones burned our warriors with the lights of hell. And they killed everyone? All were dead or taken. My spirit returned to flesh only to reveal the truth to the Chosen. What happened to the ones taken? A strange mist stole their minds and sent them to the land of sleep. The evil ones walked among the dreamers, yet did not dream. And then? The beasts swallowed all, then took to the winds. Uh, which way were the winds that, that they followed going? Did you never listen when I taught you the yearly dance of the wind spirits? South, of course. Your descriptions were so vivid and powerful, great Hakunin, that I was often stricken senseless for the duration of your lessons. Yes, they traveled the wind south. I overheard the Dark Soul speaking. They planned to rest their beasts at a place named Navarro before crossing the great basin of our Earth Mother's tears. Basin of tears? An ocean of tears cried by a mother. For her children. Oh, the ocean. But what shall I do? For me, nothing. Chosen, you must seek the fold of the Dark Ones and rescue our people. I'll try. You are the Chosen. You must do. Hakunin? Yeah. He's here. He's here. There he is. Dead. Well. Oh. Yeah. Huh. So. We came too late. Or maybe not. Maybe it wouldn't have mattered. It, it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, but for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout 2.
I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!